Hi, good morning, and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 504, and we will wait a few minutes for people to join us live. If you're joining live, please say hello. If you end up watching the recorded version, please also say hello. I get notified of all of those comments and uh, can talk to you that way as well. So hopefully everybody feels welcome and included that way. Hi, Christine and Christy and Judy, Barbara, Lisa, Grace, Melissa, Carol, Jane, Jill, Judy, Lucy, Stacy, Cherie, Kathy, Some of the things scrolled too fast, I couldn't catch them. Hi, Terry and Pamela. Thanks for joining live, everybody. Hi, Nancy. Happy Monday. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Lily. Happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully, everybody had a good weekend. I uh, worked over the weekend, obviously, and I worked on dyeing yarns, and I worked on 52 Crochet Gifts book, worked a lot on the book, lots to show you soon. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Lots to show you soon. I should be launching the first round of the pre-order later this week. With any luck, it will be this week. Well, not luck, I guess, with any, uh, with, with enough hard work, it'll be this week. Uh, but yes, I'll be announcing, I'll be releasing the first pre-order version uh, this week. And I have a lot of new yarns to show you today. And I'll have more yarns to show you tomorrow. So, um, you know, dyeing yarn is a huge process, um, starting with the planning and picking colors and palettes and a theme or whatever, all of that, notwithstanding, I'm like, I'm not even counting that part. Just the physicality of it, um, you know, it's the dyeing, the setting, the rinsing and the drying, and the drying takes quite a while. And um, let's see, what have I dyed recently? I dyed Be So Soulful yarn, Be So bold, be so lush, be so cozy, and be so toasty. So uh, there will be one new, one more new colorway for Be So Soulful yarn out tomorrow, and there will be a collection of Be So Toasty out tomorrow. But today I can show you the rest of what I just listed off. So last week I showed you Be So Bold uh, yarn in new colors, and um, a lot of the colors are sold out, so I just wanted to quickly remind you that there are three colorways still available and these are the this is the color series where um, the colors match so the lime green and chili pepper red blend with the chili pepper red and orange and the orange and chili pepper red blend with the steel gray and orange so if you wanted to do color projects you could pick two of them that have a matching color Um, anyway these are the the only three colors that are left and it is um, in limited quantity limited quantities so if you like these i would grab them before they're gone and these are all lit because i hand dye these in variegated colors they are limited edition i only really do stuff like this once and then move on to a new collection so if get it now if you want it it won't come back like it won't come back exactly in this way even if i did something similar it'll never match completely so those are the three colors that are left in be so bold I did the same color series in Be So Lush, which is which is the number two sport weight ver a number one fingering weight version of the bamboo and cotton blended yarn. And so you can see that those colors are represented here as well. So these col- so this is Be So Lush yarn, which is cotton and bamboo blended together in a 50-50 blend and super buttery soft, just like the worsted weight version that I just showed you. And we've got it in sapphire steel gray, lime green and sapphire blue, 
lime green and chili pepper red. Lime green, I'm sorry, chili pepper red and orange and steel gray and orange. And you can see, so that they're all in the colors here. They're, they're all lined up in the next to the color that it matches, except for the one on the end. Obviously the grays match as well. And I know a lot of people have enjoyed buying the yarn in those matching colors to do some color work. And I can't wait to see what everybody makes. So that's Be So Lush yarn, which is a number one fingering weight. So if you're looking for patterns for it, any Be So Fine yarn patterns will substitute very well because they're both number one fingering weights. And I do have patterns in the Be So Lush yarn specifically as well. See if anybody has questions before I move on and show you new colors and Be So Cozy yarn. But I'll wait a second and see if there's any questions. Pamela loves my dress. This is uh, another Amazon dress. It looks like a polka dot, right? It's that tank top dress that, you know, that I love and pretty much live in. And the cardigan that's made out of tank top or t-shirt material. But so light and loose that it's easy to tie up like this. But what's cute is it looks like a polka dot. But if you look closely, it's little stars. Can you see that they're stars? Hopefully you can see that they're stars. I don't know. So cute. I love it. And both of these are available in my Amazon shop. Oh, good. You could see the stars. Good. So cute and flattering. Thank you, Pamela. And super comfortable, too. Hi, Ivalice. Does anybody have any questions or want to see anything specifically regarding the yarns that I've showed so far, uh, shown so far? That's a great idea, Terry. Yes, I would definitely, I would get some solid colors and I would get some prints and I would even consider getting some of the shirts or uh, the long sleeve cardigans for wearing at night too. Uh, how to purchase my yarns if you go to my website kristinomdahl.com and the links are provided in the video description below for all the different ways to find me in other parts of social media including where to shop on my website where my blog is and all that good stuff there's tons of links in the video description but if you just head over to my website kristinomdahl.com you can find um, my yarn shop I always wear the same necklace. What's the significance of it? Um, it was a Mother's Day present from my son when he was five or six years old. Uh, we were talking about it this weekend. I need to get um, I need to get some necklaces that would go with it because I don't like taking it off. So like, you know, those clasps that you can buy that will hang three necklaces from it so that they hang nicely. Um, I just need to wear necklaces with it because I don't really like to take it off. Occasionally I will for a special occasion, but um, I don't know. I've been wearing it for 12, almost daily for 12 years. Um, it's kind of hard to take it off. Thanks, Kimberly. It is a sweet story. He was so excited and proud of himself when he got it. And gosh, and he was so little then too. And I absolutely love the necklace and it's so beautiful anyway that, um, and you know, it's a heart. How cute is that, that your little boy gives you a heart necklace for Mother's Day? So it's just, it's, it's priceless to me. And um, it would, I just don't like taking it off that often. So yes, it looks like I just intentionally wear it all the time. Well, I guess I do intentionally wear it all the time. I just intentionally don't like taking it off, which sounds like the same thing, but I don't know. I love other necklaces and I love jewelry, but I need to think of ways to incorporate this with other things because I don't like to take it off. Okay, uh, I'm gonna grab the next yarn here. So if you've never tried my merino wool and bamboo blended yarns, I have to say it is quite a treat. Um, I do it in two blends. There's the worsted weight, number four weight, and then there's the number one fingering weight. So the number four worsted weight is Be So Cozy yarn, and then the number one 
fingering weight is Be So Toasty yarn, and it's a blend of merino wool and bamboo blended together. The merino is incredibly soft, and the bamboo with it gives it a silkiness. It has this silky feel to it, but buttery soft and obviously really warm. So it'd make great cowls and fingerless mitts and hats and things that you would wanna wear in the upcoming winter season. So this, I do have Be So Cozy done. This is the number four worsted weight and you can get the yarn specs on my website. Um, this is Colorway Cosmos, which has some bright cobalt blue, some bright turquoise, and some bright violet purple. And then we have gray flannel, which is a variegated steely gray. Then we have a bright aqua and an orchid, which is also variegated, not variegated, um, semi-solid. And then this one I think I call Deep Blue Sea. It has some violet and some dark blue in it. All really, really gorgeous. And like I said, just plush, lofty, and super, super buttery soft. And with a silky feel to it because of the bamboo blended with the super, super soft merino wool. So here is, um, this is, this color's Cosmos. I'll try to do them one, one at a time. And if you want me to open them up again, I don't recall the exact yards offhand, but it's somewhere around 250 for a number four worsted weight, um, which is a lot of yardage for a number four worsted weight yarn. This is gray flannel. This is aqua. orchid and deep blue sea they are absolutely gorgeous in person hopefully that translates to the camera um, and oh by the way the be so uh, the be so lush colors I showed you this morning and the be so cozy colors I'm showing you now you're getting first look at these they are listed on the website now so if you wanted to order them from the colors you're seeing here you're more than welcome to if you want to wait until the photos go up later today you can also do that but keep in mind that's when it'll go out and be in the colors and new yarns will go out and be announced everywhere and so some things may sell out quickly at that point so if you wanted to grab anything now um you can, but just keep in mind, there's no photos there. It's exclusively just for you guys until I will post the photos later today. Oh, I just dropped one on the floor. Does anybody want me to untwist any of them so you can see it again? The first color again, the first color is Cosmos and it has some purple and deep blue and turquoise or aqua. Lisa wants to see deep blue sea, sure. This one is like a dark blue and violet and then the variegations of those two colors. And then the other, oh, then the aqua has some green in it too. Aqua has some turquoise and some dark green and just a lot of variation in that. Okay, Cherie said flannel gray. This is so pretty. 
This would make nice stuff for unisex or men as well. I think a couple of these colors would look nice for men actually. Um, this is flannel gray. There's only one left, so I'll show it too, and this is Orchid. Some of these colors would be pretty together too. I think the gray flannel would be a pretty, uh, pretty color to mix with any of these. So we'll show them again. So we've got Orchid and gray flannel and Cosmos and Aqua and Deep Blue Sea. So those are the colors that are in stock and ready to ship now. And then tomorrow I will have colors in um, available in the Be So Toasty, which is the number one fingering weight version of this so that'll be a very light yarn that is also merino wool and bamboo blended together and then I will have one brand new colorway of Be So Soulful yarn tomorrow also which will also be a really great unisex excuse me unisex color if you're looking to make any men's items for for holiday or for winter I'd show you right now but it's just not quite dry but it's going to be a color, I think I'm gonna call it shale. It's got some, a lot of soft black to it, but it has those light rust variations in it. Um, light rust and light gray variations in it. It's a very dark color, but it has just these soft variations of soft black that go into rust and gray. And it's just beautiful. It reminds me of like shavings of shale. It's beautiful. So I'll be able to show you that tomorrow along with Be So Toasty yarn. Does anybody have any other questions or requests? Uh, do I have a dyeing studio? I have uh, several workplaces in my workspaces in my home and yes, I do dye here in my work studio, yes. I do all of my filming here. Uh, I have a video studio and dyeing area and shipping and all sorts of little corners and areas in my home. But yes, I work completely from home. So I have different spaces in my home set up for different workstations. But I'd I think more of my home is dedicated to work than it is to personal. But that's okay, that's, that's how you run a business from home. <laughs> Good morning, B. I curled my hair with hot rollers this morning, can you tell? <laughs> so funny. Looks like I didn't do anything at all, but I did. Yeah, Be So Toasty would be great for socks, yes. Uh, uh, Kimberly, I use commercial uh, professional dyes. No, these are not natural dyes. These are commercial professional dyes. I use different dyes for different fibers. It's it varies. Thanks, Cherie. Please show which yarn again, Luna. Which yarn did you want to see? I brought out Be So Bold, Be So Lush, and Be So um, Cozy today. I just want to make sure I show you what you want to see. Mm. 
she missed them all. Well, I don't know if we have time to show them all, but she can definitely go back and watch the replay, but uh, I can go over it quickly. So the new colors of Be So Lush yarn, or so, yeah, Be So Lush yarn is the chili pepper and orange, the orange and steel gray, the chili pepper and lime green, the lime green and sapphire blue, and the sapphire blue and steel gray. Those are the new colors in Be So Lush yarn, which is organic cotton and bamboo blended together in a number one fingering weight. I also have a couple colors left still of the Be So Bold in those, that color family. So um, I listed these last week and the other colors are sold out so far, but I still have a limited supply left of the chili pepper and lime green the orange and chili pepper, and the orange and steel gray. These have photos. The Be So Lush doesn't have photos yet, and that's because I like to give you an exclusive opportunity to uh, shop for the yarns first before I launch them to everyone else. So later today, the new Be So Lush colors will be up in photos and launched um, publicly, you know, through social media and mailing list, all that stuff. So once they go public, um, anyway, so then the other yarn that I showed today is Be So Cozy yarn, which is a number four worsted weight yarn in merino wool and bamboo blended together. And it comes, I have five colors, right? There's colors from the last collection still available in my shop too, but the new colors are aqua, and deep sea blue, cosmos, gray flannel, and orchid. Does anybody have any other questions? Thanks, Lisa. I love all the new colors too. I'm excited. I have I have new stuff. I have the the new book is going to have stuff in some of the new colors of Be So Cozy yarn. Thank you. Left is right crochet. Thank you very much. It is beautiful. It's very bright. I love the bright pop of turquoise in with the dark colors. It's, I don't know. Very energetic, I love it. All right, I don't see any other questions, I don't think. Thanks, Lisa. Pamela loves the turquoise and purple and blue. Yeah, that color is called Cosmos. It's beautiful. Oh, we got another storm coming, Lydia. Oh boy, we had uh, we had intense rain all weekend from that tropical storm that was in the Gulf. We had rain Friday night, Saturday all day, Saturday night, and all day yesterday. If the sun comes out today, it'll be the first time we've seen sun since Wednesday, I think. <laughs> it's been a lot of rain here. But that's, that's hurricane season for you. All right, I don't see any other questions, so I will grab a quote from one of our Create, Share, Inspire notebooks. And this is uh, volume one, issue six. There are seven issues available. You can find all of them on Amazon prime throughout the world and um, issues one through five are also available in uh, Spanish. What app issues one through seven are available in English, but they're available all over the world, everywhere that there is Amazon, you can order one of these. And it's an incredible, incredibly powerful tool for writing down your thoughts, 
and opposite every page that you can write on is a quote that I've curated. It's uh, an inspirational or motivational quote. And today's quote that I wanted to share with you, oh, and this issue has some roses that I drew um, because I feel like sometimes doodling and coloring is a great way to settle the mind before you start writing. Anyway, today's quote is from Benjamin Disraeli. Action may not always bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. I love that. That's really awesome, especially for, it's very validating for somebody that works their tail off all the time. <laughs> so thank you, Benjamin Disraeli. Action may not always bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. That's awesome. <laughs> so let's all be active. <laughs> no, it's obviously deeper than that. I'm being silly, but um, I do feel like it does really add to your happiness if you have worked for it in one way or the other, whether it's through your good deeds, your treatment of other people, working hard at something that you're passionate about, regardless of what you are working towards and what you're doing, as you achieve something that you've spent time and patience and work on, the happiness reward is so much greater than if you didn't work for it. I, I mean, that's really what he's saying, I think. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. So thank you, Benjamin Disraeli. Action may not always bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. Wonderful. What a great reminder on a Monday morning when we have a fresh slate and we're ready to start a brand new week. How are we going to earn happiness rewards today or throughout the week? Um, really exciting. I think Monday mornings are so exciting for that. You have a fresh slate. How do you want to be today? How do you want to be this week? Uh, what do you want to accomplish? What do you want to learn? Uh, what do you want to share with the world? Thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed the sunrise, my beautiful backyard, the cheerful birds singing in the background, the show and tell, the new yarns, chatting with me and everyone else here. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.